iPhone 13 Pro Max versus 14 Pro Max versus 15 Pro Max, iOS 17.1.1 speed test. That's coming up. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone 13 Pro Max is going to face off against the iPhone 14 Pro Max and against the big dog, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and an iOS 17.1.1 speed test. Now the aim of this speed test is to kind of figure out if there's any major differences between them in the day to day and while it's not the most scientific, it's still going to be quite fun to watch. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the iPhone 15 Pro to go ahead and time the boot up and we'll begin with the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max 3 2 go and see how fast this thing can turn on. Now pay attention to the time when it finishes because that time when it finishes is going to be the time we're going to be looking to beat on the next phone. So it looks like we are gonna finish up here right around mm, we're getting close here we're getting close 18 point I could have been a little bit off you know my finger is a little bit off but maybe 17.5 to 8.2 seconds let's get on to the next one which is going to be the iPhone 14 Pro Max we're trying to be 18.2 zero here so the iPhone 14 Pro Max is gonna go in three two one and we're gonna see what we can get here and you could see right here we're just now turned on the 14 Pro Max and so the 14 Pro Max should be a little faster considering it does have the A16 Bionic chip versus the A15 Bionic chip. And we'll see right here that it finishes right around the 16 second mark. So a couple seconds faster to finish on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. But can that beat be beaten by the iPhone 15 Pro Max? Let's go ahead and see if that's going to be the case here. You see that new action button here that's signifying this is the 15 Pro Max three, two, go. And I was kind of shocked here because the iPhone 15 Pro Max, you know, you would think with a three nanometer chipset that it was going to win out, but you're going to see here that it wasn't really the case. And you can see at 12, 13, 14, we're coming up near that iPhone 14 Pro Max and around 17. So even if I missed it by like a little bit, it was still slightly slower to boot up than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now let's go ahead and confirm the software so you know I'm not cheating in this test. 17.1.121B91 on 13 Pro Max, 17.1.121B91 on 14 Pro Max. And finally wrapping it up here, we're gonna have iOS 17.1.121B91. And I should go ahead and turn on dark mode before we get into this app test really quickly. Okay, so here we are at the app test. We're gonna start this with the iPhone 13 Pro Max with calendar, clock, weather, calculator, app store. Now you'll see in these basic apps, it just launches super quick. Groupon, not too bad either. Hopping over into X or Twitter for some of you, Instagram, and you'll see Amazon flying right open, hopping over into Starbucks. You can see right here, Dead Trigger 2. And as we hop into the game, it slows down a little bit. Of course, we are loading up with some a little bit more demanding. You'll see we do have Subway Surfers launching pretty quickly and Tupper Run 2. I do like to include these basic games because some of us are going to use basic games and then we'll hop over into the more serious, you know, PUBG Mobile, which definitely slowed this test down quite a bit. So once you start getting into the games, you really start pushing these phones a little bit more. And PUBG does take some time to load, as would other games like Genshin Impact, as well as maybe like a Final Fantasy type game, stuff like that, you know, Fortnite, things like that of that sort. Um, those type of games will take longer. I don't even know. Is Fortnite even on iOS? I think that's that. Is that that Android exclusive? I could be wrong. Let me know down below. But the PUBG took a while. And now we're going to get into Asphalt 9 here, Legends. And you'll see this takes a little bit longer than a basic casual game as well and you'll see we're out of there let's go into geekbench 6 hopping over to 3d mark and into camera and iMovie and we're going to wrap it up here with right around 123 so that's what we're trying to beat for the next iphone is 123.38 seconds okay so here we are with the iphone 14 pro max you can see dynamic island up there signifies that as as the wallpaper does you can see calculator basic apps just launching super fast groupon we're already eight seconds in Groupon slows us down a little bit, but here comes Twitter or X, and you can see Instagram pops right open. We're going to Amazon, and by the way, are you getting any Black Friday deals? Let me know which ones you're going with down below. 
lot of things are on sale right now. You can see right there, J Balvin Subway Surfers pops right open. And it looks like we're a little bit ahead so far of the 13 Pro Max in terms of just these launch speeds. And you can see right here that we're going to go into PUBG Mobile. And of course, you know, I'm using my finger, so I could be slightly off when we finish the test. I could be a couple seconds or so off, you know, overall. But the apps do tend to launch faster on each iteration of the iPhone. So we, we should only be off by like maybe a second or two maximum. Um, so keep that in mind. But you'll see PUBG slows us down once again because PUBG likes to check for updates as well as has to load up everything. So it takes definitely longer. But that seemed a little faster than the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Asphalt 9 Legends um, slows us down once again. Not too much, but a little bit. And let's go into Geekbench 6 and 3D Mark and how about camera and iMovie. And even, you know, calculating for a couple of seconds difference. If I was off, you can see it's still quicker than the iPhone 13 Pro Max by a few seconds. So that could add up throughout the day. Let's head over into the Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max. You can see just flying through these basic applications. Does it get slowed down? Yeah, a little bit by Groupon slows it down a little bit. You can see what about X or Twitter, Instagram, and you'll see Starbucks popping right open. And then we're going to go into Dead Trigger 2 here. And again, it looks like we're a few seconds in the lead over the prior two already. So this is what I'm getting from this video is that essentially that every iteration you're getting like a five second difference. Can those seconds add up throughout the day? Uh, depending on how fast you're moving in your life, not really for most people. If you just kind of open an app, look away and come back, I don't think it's going to make a major difference, but it's still fun to test these out and see how much big of a games we're getting day to day. You can see PUBG slows us down again. Of course, it is a more premium game offering. And you'll see we're under a minute, though, which is pretty good. We were already over a minute on the other two. And are we going to cross over? Yeah, it looks like we're going to cross over into the minute mark. And remember, the one minute and 19 seconds on the 14 Pro Max, we're getting kind of close here. It's making me a little nervous. Let's get into Asphalt 9 Legends because I want this to win. Let's go to 3D Mark, Camera and iMovie and it beats the other two by four seconds. So it's like four seconds, four seconds, four seconds between all of them, but that's not it. We got to go into Geekbench 6. You know, we got to do this. Don't you know how we roll around here? We're going to go into Geekbench 6 here and see what happens here with the final results. I could tell you the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, all coming in with really solid single cores, only about a two to 300 gap there. But if you take a look at the multi-core score, the gap is a little bit larger. So what that tells me is that you really got to push these to really get the benefits of the faster CPU on each edition of these phones. Maybe the camera and other things are probably going to be more a bit more important throughout the day to day when deciding to do the upgrade. But each one will last a little bit longer. And that wraps it up here with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, iOS 17.1.1 speed test. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more like this. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.